So basically we're going to start from where we last left off, I guess. Until I, I beat the game, then I may restart from the beginning. Alright, so... Last time I think I left off where I was fighting um, Hiden and... Kanazu, however you pronounce it. And prior to um, starting the game in the menu, it informs you of tips that you can use to to your advantage you hopefully win matches and we have Captain Yamada on us and we're about to enter the the forest that um Naruto fought um Kanazu when and Shikamaru fought Hiden and Kakashi there too. And it gives you the option if you're ready to enter or not. You obviously click yes unless you're not prepared. Alright so we're entering the forest. And this is one of my favorite settings though. It's very unusual though with a big open field though. The trees are huge. I think the sun is out. It's probably one of my favorite battlefield settings, if not my favorite battlefield setting in the Naruto Shippuden universe. Alright, and prior to starting the gameplay, the game is told in the form of um, cutscenes, so you have an idea of exactly what's going on, though. So, where we last left off, Kakashi, apparently Ino and Choji are fighting Kanazu. And there's also text though, so you can read the specific words that the characters are saying to one another. And also if you don't like the English voices, you could change a voice. You have the option to change the voices to Japanese if you are used to, I guess, keeping up with the anime in a Japanese voice or used to reading the manga in Japanese. So now we've arrived, and Naruto has arrived to, I guess, save the day with Captain Yamato, and we'll probably easily be able to defeat Kanazu when he did. You may ask yourself, how will this be possible? Well, Naruto is invincible. He's got the nine-toed fox in him, and he's completely overpowered. So because we have the nine-toed fox inside him, because the nine-toed fox is inside Naruto, probably be an unstoppable force and we've also got Captain Yamato here and he is basically a he has the same exact cells as the first Hokage and the Hokages are supposed to be the most powerful ninjas and Captain Yamato is basically a replication of the first Hokage or you can look at him like a reincarnation of the first Hokage he was a test subject for Orochimaru and he had, um, Hiroshimaru experimented him, experimented with his body by putting the first Tokage's cells in him, so he's able to control him, Wujutsu. So, Naruto has arrived and he's invincible because he has the Naruto Fox. We have Captain Yamato on the battlefield too, which is basically nearly the same equivalent as having the first Tokage on the battlefield. And then you've got Kakashi who is extremely strong though and he probably has a rank of a cage I think the cage is the highest um, Naruto rank I know he's rank at Jonin in the series though but there I don't know what the difference between a cage and Jonin is a cage may be the next level up but a Jonin can hold off a cage and an, a, another example of a Jonin would be Kai Sensei, Asuma and then you have Zabuza, one of the seven swordsmen of the Hidden Mist. And you also have Shikumaru, who's, I think he's a Chonin. But he's able to defeat him, Hiden, who has a cage rank. And Shikumaru is inspired to continue this fight in the form of a cussing, though, by Suma basically got in him and inspiring him to pursue the defense of the Hidden Leaf Village. So prior to starting the battle, there's a Hidden on screen and Shikamaru on screen and 